hey guys welcome to this video in this video i'll be talking about ggplot2 so let's get started so this is the content we will do first we will do what is ggplot2 and after that we will do grammar of graphics and after that i will uh, i show you the example uh, actually i am making the histogram histograph histogram graph by the use of ggplot2 and after that we try to understand the data which you make uh, histogram so first uh, what is ggplot2 it is a tool for doing data visualization uh, which is developed by the hadley wickham this is so wonderful and very popular uh, library for next is what is grammar of graphics it tells us the way for making the graph so as as you can see uh, this is the format uh, we follow while making the graph first what uh, we do we give data as a input to the function and after that what we do we do aesthetic aesthetic meet making 2d plane cartesian coordinate system it means uh, define the x axis and y axis and after that geometrics geometrics means you giving the shape of the graph like the uh, histogram is available line graph is available point graph is available and there are lots of graphs available in the geometric uh, option so this is the compulsory for making any type of graph and after uh, uh, labels theme and facets it is it is not it is for enhancing or decorated the graph that's it this is the optional in this video i i only focus on the compulsory part and in the next video uh, i will talk more about the uh, optional plus compulsory part now let's look what is the histogram histogram uh, is a histogram graph okay and it is used to visualize when the data ha have a frequency uh, you can think example of uh, suppose this is the boy and eat the toast number of toast so it has a data and it has frequency uh, and similarly there this is the another example you can think is per capita income of a country so per capita income is the uh, frequency there are lots of other example you can uh, imagine in your daily life so now let's take the example uh, let's say this is ravi and he is confused uh, this uh, this is the data set this is kaggle data set house price prediction and it has 10000 row 10 10,000 row is not the actual uh, row the actual row is around 1500 but uh, what I am trying to show you uh, if the data set is very very large that's where the data visualization is very crucial for analyze and understanding the data so first he wants to overview and analysis the dependent variable like sales price so in the house price prediction data set there is a, a dependent variable available sale price and first uh, he he do univariate analysis he only want to know the distribution of dependent variable like that you can see in the screen for do this he have to use the ggplot library we will do step by step uh, what is our step one uh, we give the data set uh, like uh, I make a variable house and I give the only the data set of to the ggplot function so if you run this what happens that it shows like that it is a blank ggplot only know what I have a data set what I do with this data set he don't know you have to tell everything according to your wish so what I have I do now I I give the instruction to the ggplot to hey i need a x i put the sales price this is the column of house house price data set and this is the dependent variable and what uh, it command says i want to sales price on the x axis if you run this what happens that it create a x axis for you as you can see this is not histogram so for histogram or making any shape you you have to use geometric here i use a geom uh, underscore histogram what i it means i am telling ggplot to hey making histogram for me when you run it it what happens that it create a histogram for you 
now you are able to un uh, see the histogram graph as you can see this is the right skew that means a uh, mean is greater than median in that in that scenario and in this uh, screen you can see that uh, central this is the right skewed from the central value uh, in the number line these all things i will show you in r i opened the r studio as you can see first uh, i need to library activate radar so library is activated now i am reading a, a house data set as you can see this is the housing data set so now i am what i do i activated the tblayer package this is activated now i am activating a ggplot library now i run the command ggplot function and under parenthesis i give the data set so as you can see uh, they, this is blank so i have to tell i need a sale price column on the x axis so when i run it so as you can see this is the sale price as as you can see now what i do i uh, give the instruction for making the histogram so i write geom underscore histogram when i run it it create a histogram for me as you can see i zoom, zoom it so as you can see this is the right skewed you can fill the color also or i will fill by dark blue when i run it it create a dark blue histogram there are lots of other things you can do uh, i will explain you in uh, in the next video these same things you can understand by run the summary function if you run it uh, this is the summary function so as you can see that mean is uh, 1 lakh 80000 uh, 921 is uh, and median is 1 lakh 63000 it means mean is greater than uh, median because it is right skewed this is another statistical term like quartile maximum uh, so these things i will explain you in my further video for now thank you